Prepare to be enlightened uh, as we're joined once again by our resident tech guru, Georgie Barrett, who has some inventive new ways to help us rise from our slumber. Good morning to Georgie. Come on in. See, she brings all, me a gift. All be revealed. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. No one's ever brought a kettle on before. We'll, we'll get to that. Um, so, so what have you got today? You've got apps that wake us up. Yes, I do. So let me show you the first one. It's called Wakey, and it basically connects with other people around the world. So you get a phone call to wake you up. Should, should we give it a go? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so there's five people currently wanting to wake up. So you literally press waking someone up. So obviously this is connecting with someone around the world who is currently asleep and wants to arise. Hi, wake you. Please, stay on the line while we can Hello? Oh, hello. Hello, good morning. How are you? Mm -hmm. Good uh, morning. Mm -mm. Are you oh. tired? Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> Very sleepy. What time is it with you? Mm, Where are six you? A, six o'clock in the morning. Oh, I'm well, with you. I'm, you I'm, woke them up. Hope to see you soon again. Oh, I think she's gone. Oh, that's it. I don't, I don't, I don't think she appreciates it. I tell you what, she sounded like she's had a, a really good night, <laughs> hasn't she? <laughs> Maybe she didn't uh, want to be woken. Don't be calling me. Oh, she That's the part you want next. No time. lines to learn. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you have a good night? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Looking well, forward to I the day. I very mm -mm. much enjoy it because ha I have a very lovely conversation with a stranger from around the world first thing in the morning. Uh, quite seriously, though, and I'm, I'm not saying, but if you're lonely and you live on your own, it might be a nice way to wake up. Uh, you know, don't true. know who's going to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there is someone calling in again. Do you want to do another one or should we leave oh, Just it? very quickly, why not? Yeah. Hello? Hey. Hi. How are you? We're good. Um, I, have, you, have you ever watched um, Desperate Housewives? No. Oh, that's uh, good. Uh, that's good. <laughs> where, where, where are you calling from? I'm originally from Saudi Arabia, but now I'm in the US. Oh, OK. okay. Okay. Well, we're here in the UK yeah. doing a television show, and we just wanted to say uh, good morning. Hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you, you too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> He sounded Aww. a bit sleepy, but we woke him up. We woke him up, and uh, when he realises that he's been on TV, then I'm sure he'll wake up a lot more very quickly. <laughs> and let's face it, we managed to get the only person in the States who didn't know what Desperate <laughs> yeah. Housewives was. It was brilliant. Yes. Right, what else have you got? <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Um, iCookie is basically an alarm clock that links up to your bank account and also a charity of your choice. So every time you hit that snooze button, a amount is donated to charity. So it's a win-win situation. You may be late for work, but at least you've donated a couple of quid to charity. Okay, and you have to hit the snooze button. I'm just imagining now that the three of us went, or four of us went out for a night out and uh, the alarm <laughs> goes off. I've lost my phone, don't even know where it is. It's not kind of yeah, uh, it's clocking up the... Yeah, it's about snoozing. It's about, it's trying to stop you from all always hitting that snooze button, which I'm really bad at. Okay, are Always you? snoozing. Okay. Yes, oh, I love a snooze. I snooze for an hour. Anyway, um, the next one is more of a gadget, which is what I'm wearing on my wrist. It's called a Pulse Sense, um, Epson Pulse Sense. And it basically records my biometrics. So it records my steps and calories and things like that. It links up to an app on your smartphone. Um, but interestingly, it links up to your sleep habit. So you sleep in it and it basically tells you when you're coming in and out of your sleep wow. cycles. Um, and that links up to an alarm and then the alarm wakes you when you're sort of at the best time to be woken. So at your time. lightest sleep, I presume. Yeah, so you, you up. wake up feeling refreshed. Yeah. What do you think of this, Dr. Don? Well, it's interesting. When you talk to people about it, you've heard the Bible tells of um, you mustn't stop to wake somebody up if they're sleepwalking because you might give them a heart attack and like most old wives tales there is an element of truth and that okay. is that when, when you sleep walk you do that in your deepest sleep so actually there is some there is some logic in saying if you wake up in your lighter sleep um, which you would do naturally, then that's probably better for you. But and you won't get, you get quite it's a few of those in the market. I know there's a jawbone and an up that I've used yeah, before, and they're, they're really clever because they do, uh, you know, it, 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 they count your steps and everything. Yeah, smartwatches generally, and actually something that's really going to play into like medicine and um, research and things like that. Because if everybody's recording their sleep habits, or if they um, sort of do it for their heart rate or blood pressure, then it's really useful. The Apple Watch at the moment actually links up your blood yeah. pressure yes. to your GP. So um, mm. yeah. Get there we go. More accurate readings. Yeah. Uh, my next one is the kettle. Okay. The kettle is linked to this lovely app, um, and I literally hit this button. Oh, did you oh, hear it? Oh, it's just beeped. Yes. 
Um, so it's starting to boil um, for our cup of tea first thing in the morning. But it can be on a timer, so it can literally start boiling as your alarm goes off. So that could be waking you instead of that guy from America. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd rather. Um, but it's, it's, it's a smart... I'd rather as well. <laughs> I'd rather. It's a smart kettle, so it's linked to the internet. Um, wow. And, I know, very smart. And it also knows things like when you walk through your front door, it'll give you a little notification to your phone saying, um, would you like me to start um, boiling? So you oh, can that's very British. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, but you see, you're far too young to remember the teas made. Remember the oh, teas made? The teas made. Yeah. Uh, this was a machine that would actually make you a cup of tea, a bit like this, but not just boil the kettle, but actually make the tea. And oh, I wow. believe that Her Majesty the Queen, if you're, if you're watching Her Majesty, then uh, do get back to us on this. Um, but apparently she still has a 70s, 80s teas made that makes her a cup of tea every morning. Don't <laughs> Ask me how I know that. <laughs> so this Philip. is possibly retro compared to that. If it's not even doing the extra bits. <laughs> I like the idea that it gives you, a, you know, a warning to so you're coming home and you want yeah, a cup of tea. Very absolutely, good. and it's boiled, ready for the break. That's um, fantastic. My, my final one. You're going to love this, Alice. Okay. I've got especially for you. I just switch this off. It's driving me mad. Yep. <laughs> what is this? An ostrich pillow. Basically, if all else fails, you can have a little nap wherever you want by putting it over your head. And Get it, out of town. <laughs> you are joking. It helps, it helps you have a little power nap wherever you are. So we just wear it? Yes. Well, it wherever you are. So if you're on the train or a plane or something <laughs> yes, like that, then... exactly. Or a TV show, you know. Beautiful. So what do you do? You just wear it? So pull it a little bit. It's meant to go over your eyes. Yes, there we go. Okay. So, so there you go. You can't hear. It's comfy. You can put your head on a desk, lean against something. Why, why are these holes here? <laughs> Weirdly, I think that's meant for your arms if you're going down on a desk. <laughs> yeah, so you just... Okay, it's bizarre. That's just begging to be attacked. <laughs> <laughs> I could just it's see somebody fashion, like on yeah. an airplane and all of a sudden like they get mugged <laughs> because they've got that on. Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> oh, it, it, it might be happening because our gift to you for coming on this morning. There you go. You're going on the train later on, aren't you? My son will love it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever wear that, but thank you very much, Georgie. Pleasure. Some fun things there. Uh, after the break, actor Brian Capron will be here to tell us about his latest role. Plus, we've got another cracking performance from Andy Grammer. He's going to be singing his version of the Snow Patrol classic, Back in a few minutes.